Hi, everybody. Welcome to this edition of Good News Today, and it really is going to be a fantastic show today, Caroline. We are so blessed because we have a very special guest on today's program. That's right. We're here at Southeast Christian Church, the Blankenbaker campus, in the beautiful Welcome Center here. And our special guest is actually the leader of this church. Let him know who's going to be on the show today, Bob. Senior Pastor Dave Stone is on the program today. And in fact, Dave is just such an anointed man of God. Uh, he just celebrated his 25th anniversary here at Southeast Christian Church. It's hard to believe he's even been here that long, but God has used him in so many different fashions and different ways. And we're so blessed again to have him on the program because we are going to be talking with Pastor Dave about the exciting things that's happening in his life as well as the ministry at Southeast Christian Church. So you want to be sure to stay tuned. Welcome to Good News Today with Bob and Caroline Scott. And now, here's Bob and Caroline. Welcome to Good News Today. And we are blessed. I mean, we're blessed <laughs> to be at Southeast Absolutely. Christian Church and have Senior Pastor Dave Stone on as our very special guest. And, you know, I'm almost thinking of this as a series. You know, we, we, <laughs> we, the second time you've been on our program, uh, Dave, back to back. And God is good. I mean, he's just so good. And, and just to see what the Lord's doing in your ministry and the ministry of this church. And uh, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. You know. <laughs> You're humbled. That's I am you're humbled. I am humbled. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I was saying that this morning. Yes. Uh, as we were actually reading, um, Bob's reading one mm -hmm. and I'm reading another. And you have actually three, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, yes. And we want to we talk about these books today on the show. Um, but... It's really your focus on families, and, and it's faithful families, right, mm -hmm. is, is part of your ministry. And um, Tell us a little bit of the, the groundwork of that and how that yeah. started. And You know, it's always terrifying to write a book on parenting. <laughs> because, yeah. You've uh, written seven books, is that correct? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yes, amazing. So, it's amazing. like my friend said, putting an ichthus on your car because you don't know how you're going to actually <laughs> yeah. respond in the car. So. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't have an ichthus on my car. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> He's so, a great driver. Uh, <laughs> but when you write a book on parenting, it, it you do it with fear and trembling. Yes. Yeah. And we we wanted to kind of wait and see how our kids turned out. Mm -hmm. But by the same token, uh, we also wanted to show that we've made plenty of mistakes through the process. And so it's a, it's one of those things where when you begin to read a book on parenting, uh, hopefully it's honest and it's relevant and it's practical. Yes. And. Uh, so I don't write, I'm not the <laughs> deepest guy, so I write at a pretty much a sixth grade level. Oh. And uh, so that's why. It's perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me say this about the, these books is, that's what I love about it, is the realness yeah. of these books. Because there is, no, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I always say there's no instruction manual on parenting. I, I like to say now there is, it's the Holy mm. Bible. Um, yeah. But you say that in this book. You're like, I'm not going to tell you that, you know, that this is the know-all, be-all. <laughs> but it's just your experiences and um, tips. And when we talked about in the last show um, that the most important thing, the key word is, is prayer. That's right. And covering your children in prayer. And um, I can't say that I've always been, been have done that regularly, but... Um, you talked about Beth and how she, she does that and how important that is. Go a little deeper into that, what that means to pray over your children daily. Yeah, um, and we've done some things well. We've, one of the things we have not done as well with was when the kids would leave in the morning. Mm -hmm. And we usually start off pretty well in August. Yeah. yeah. You know, hey, we're going to sit around, <laughs> we're going to eat a healthy breakfast, <laughs> and, you know, and, and within six weeks it's, you know, Life grab happens. a Pop-Tart <laughs> and, you know, head out. And, yeah. But <laughs> we, we did get in the habit of where we would pray yeah. mm -hmm. bef before the, the time. And we just asked God just to be a part of their day. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, oh, I, I think about when we would drive carpool in the morning and uh, my, my wife trained the people she drove uh, the carpool with. Yes. She would say, this is the encouragement jar. It's filled with candy. And when you get in the car, I want to know how you encourage someone today. Oh, and awesome. So, uh, you know, just little things wow. like that. So yeah. there would be all the neighborhood kids would jump in and they'd be saying, you know, this girl was sitting alone today and I sat with her. You know, hey, <laughs> give, me some, give me some candy, you know. So, so they're, they're polite kids, but they, they don't have any teeth now. <laughs> but uh, so you, you look for those little things that you can do. One thing that when you talk about prayer, 
I grew up in, in a godly home, as, as we shared at the last uh, time when we were together. And one phrase that my mom and dad would often say when they would pray yeah. with me, uh, and it didn't matter which one it was, they'd divide and conquer, but it was, it was this statement. They would say, uh, oh, Lord, I cannot wait to see how you're going to use Dave for your glory. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Praise that. God. I and, uh, how strong is that? Oh, well, I, it, it was strong enough Speaking that, that when, I would, when I would fall asleep, I didn't wonder if God would use me. I wondered how he would how use he's me. How he's going to use you. Yeah. And it's totally a change. Such a positive confession. Yeah, but what a, you know, for moms and dads to be in the habit yeah. of doing that, yeah. to get you to say, man, God could use me. God mm-hmm. could use me yes. to his glory. Yes. So. And you know what I love is um, times when we're out to eat um, and, you know, Bob and I will sit down and just immediately start scarfing our food down and our kids are like, we didn't say the prayer. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, immediate conviction, you know. <laughs> but it is really about creating those habits because kids are, and my mom tells me this all the time, Kids want boundaries. They do. They do. That's exactly right. The world doesn't preach yeah. that anymore, or teach that anymore. Um, but kids, kids want. They want yeah. to know the expectations. And so, when I just like today, I said, "What do I expect when we go into Southeast? How do I expect you to behave?" And they, they told mm-hmm. me how. So it, it doesn't always work out. <laughs> but <laughs> but the fact that boundaries. the fact that you're intentional though shows that this is something you're taking serious and now you have a level of expectation Mm -hmm. so you know and your kids have been awesome they're not here right now so i can (laughs) see these are great these are great parents who are very intentional about how they're raising them you have healthy boundaries for them and you're exactly right caroline they want those boundaries because it gives them uh, a safety net and security yes security yeah and and you know, unfortunately, Pastor Dave, we have to go to a, one of those pesky little breaks here. Hey, that's but fine. But I, I, I'm enjoying the conversation. I know we're going to have some really more fantastic conversations when mm-hmm. we come back. So folks at home, please stay tuned as we come back to Southeast Christian Church along with Pastor, Senior Pastor Dave Stone. Hey, welcome back to Good News Today. And uh, Bob and Caroline here with uh, Senior Pastor Dave Stone. Uh, at uh, this most wonderful, wonderful church that God is using so powerfully in our community and not just hitting uh, the city of Louisville, but the state Mm -hmm. and really the nation. You know, Mm -hmm. I was blessed recently to share with Pastor Dave before we even came on the air. I heard his name being bantered about by a pastor actually out in California Mm -hmm. in another program that I was watching. So you are, your ministry, God's using Mm -hmm. you, brother, and it's because you. you have a heart to serve him. You know, and you know, there's a lot of great churches in in the Kentucky and area, and we're yeah, we're really, really blessed. Amen. We're yes. blessed to be in an area are. where mm-hmm. uh, you shouldn't have to drive very far. Yes, to be hearing biblical preaching and teaching. Yes, uh, a place where families can grow in their faith, where singles can be encouraged, where uh, people who have had a rough road can get on a right road. So. We, we're very blessed and fortunate, all of us here. Yeah, yeah. and you mentioned the, the rough roads because I think a lot of times people that, that have been down a rough road mm. may be intimidated to, to step mm. into a church, um, maybe from a past experience where they've been shunned. Or, um, But I know this mm-hmm. church really reaches out because everybody does have a story, and that's really mm-hmm. the whole gospel is the redemption of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, but you all do. You all do reach out to, to those well, people that are, that are hurting and we're all broken and we're all hurting in yeah. some way and we all have a past. We all have areas of our life that we're working on, we're not as proud of. And that's, that's the beauty of Christ coming to earth and setting yes. the example and saying, you know what, you, you don't have to be perfect. Uh, I made up I'm the sure. difference at the, at the cross. And what happens then is the more we fall in love with Christ and more we allow the Holy Spirit to get control of our lives and we live that Spirit-filled life, yes. We, we sin less and yeah. less. It's not that we're sinless, but we just sin yes, less and no. less because more we're Holy allowing Spirit. the Holy Spirit to have more control of our yes. life. Mm-hmm. And when that happens, watch yeah. out, yes. world. Yeah, you know? and you know, that, that's the beautiful thing about Jesus. He accepts us just as we are, you mm-hmm. know, and, and it, it doesn't matter where we've been, what we've done. You know, my favorite story, I talk about it often, is the prodigal son, mm-hmm. you know, where, where he'd gone to literally live with the pigs and had gotten as far away from his father as he possibly could but yet you know the word says he came to his senses and 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 when he did that he he turned his heart back to the lord and started Mm -hmm. started 
you know, actually back home on the path to home, you know, and, and that's really what it's all about is, is just coming to your senses. If, if you've ever been in a place and either have known the Lord or, or uh, and then maybe gone through some tough times, mm -hmm. things, circumstances that happened in your life where you've fallen away or have never really even known the Lord, it's just to know that there is a God who loves you and cares about you and and wants to meet you exactly as you are, right where you're yeah. at. You can't really clean yourself up. It's, you got to come impossible. as you are. Jesus yeah. is going to clean you up. <laughs> you know, your, your books, um, I just got to tell you, brother, have, have just blessed my socks off. And, mm -hmm. and um, I was reading uh, part from... Uh, yeah, this, uh, I haven't read this one yet. But the Selfless Kids in a Self-Centered World, um, you know, from your uh, family, uh, Faithful Family, Faithful family uh, series. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to encourage anybody at home, especially if you're a parent, even if you're not a parent, you've got to get this book and the mm -hmm. series because um, the wisdom that, that comes out of it is, is honest, it's, it's true, and, uh, biblical. you know, it's biblical. You know, which is the most important thing. And, you know, uh, as, as I was reading it this morning, I, I literally um, just broke out into tears, you know, as mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, through what you were sharing in it, was just coming off. Because there's just so many stories. And that's what I love about it, too, is, again, our show's based around Revelation 12, 11. You know, we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. But yeah. it's stories. You know, th that's one thing that, that the devil can never handle is the blood of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and... And, and, and testimonies, because mm -hmm. there's such power in that. Yeah. And we are, we are a self-centered world. Um, so what are some of the, I haven't read this book yet, Bob's reading it, but the mm -hmm. keys of, you know, making our kids not think the world revolves around them. <laughs> and, and I think we all are going to struggle with this. Our kids will struggle with it because we struggle with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I can write a book about it. And I can give some practical tips on it, but still it comes back to, yes. as a dad, as a Christ follower, am I going to live a life that puts others first? Mm -hmm. And so we like to play games around our house as our kids are growing up of trying to be others oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, we never held back on giving. Even when we didn't have, have money, uh, we, and when things are tight even today at times, we'll say, you know, you, you don't have to ask on giving. If you're gonna do something for somebody else, that's off the table. You don't, you don't have to worry about right. that. So we try to be others oriented. I think of just tangible examples. I'll, I'll give you some quick ones. Uh, Chris and Sarah Burke here in Louisville. Oh, no, you know, they uh, are such a great example. When their kids head out to preschool and more, or to school, they say, you know, how are you going to shine your light today? Oh, yeah. And then when they come in, how did you shine your light today? Mm -hmm. I think of uh, Mark and Jackie uh, Snyder. They had a uh, overnighter at their home, and when they did, it was to create awareness about a mission and orphanage in India. Oh, wow. Awesome. And so what they did was you couldn't bring a sleeping bag and you couldn't bring a pillow. Uh -huh. You had to sleep on the floor. <laughs> awesome. And mm -hmm. on Friday night, the girls uh, ate rice for dinner. They ate rice for their snack. They had a, a lesson about this orphanage in India, and when they woke up the next morning with a sore back, at least uh, the moms <laughs> no. had spent the no. night, they had rice for breakfast. <laughs> and, and we take That's so awesome. much for granted in this wonderful nation that we live in that they're, yeah. you know, probably two thirds of this world live in conditions like that, you know, where, they, where they're lucky to get one meal a day. Or, yeah. um, and, and let alone it, it be a meal of rice, you know, they've done well if they've done that. And then to sleep on a hard floor, mm -hmm. you know, um, we, we just, take so much for granted and I think that's something that the enemy the devil can really try to work not try he does yeah. you know because because we have so many things instant you know an instant gratification that's right you know Jim. one one thing I'm thinking since this is summertime uh, whenever we go on family vacation uh, we would maybe save some money up or take our dessert money from that night and say okay it's your job today, Sam, to, to bless somebody. Mm -hmm. And so they had to find somebody to bless, and they would go up and they would give them $10 That's and say, awesome. uh, I give this to you in the name of Jesus, or we, our family wants to bless you today. Mm -hmm. I've chosen you. Praise you the know. Lord. Yes. So. Well, I want to continue this conversation, but we have to go to another quick break. We'll be right back with a little bit more of Good News Today and Brother Dave Stone from Southeast Christian Church. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Good News Today, and uh, Caroline, w this is our final segment. It's hard to believe we, yeah. we've uh, done a couple shows with uh, Senior Pastor Dave Stone from Southeast Christian Church, and, 
it's been an honor, brother, to have you on the program and uh, just to hear about what God's doing in your life. You, you're just such an accomplished guy. I know it's all through the power of the Holy Spirit and what, uh, Jesus Christ. And, you know, you're an author, you're a pastor, and you're an athlete. You know, we haven't really even talked about that, folks. I mean, he's, he's an accomplished athlete, a great golfer from what I've heard, and was uh, on, on a, played college basketball for a couple of years as well. But you know. You're a really honest guy until you hit this segment. So. <laughs> No. There's a little bit of truth I, in I there. I couldn't resist, so. okay. <laughs> I guarantee you, you're a better golfer than I am, and that's not saying much. Yeah. No, but we've been talking about parenting, and uh, we're parents. We're all parents here, mm -hmm. and it's hard, you know. It is. It's hard. It's a daily, yes. <laughs> daily thing, and you have to consciously yeah. wake up every morning, and I, I try to every yeah. morning, talk to the Lord about yeah. my kids, you know, and... Um, Talk a little bit about that. Just tell us, what, what do we do? <laughs> well, uh, Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. He who began a good work in you will be faithful Love to complete it. And just the fact that you all take it seriously, and, and those of you who are watching and, and listening, uh, if you feel the way all of us do at times, of, oh, I don't measure up, or, boy, I wish I could go back and do that over again. You know what? Don't, don't forget the past and, and right. press on to the future. So... All we care about and what the Lord cares about is how can you pick it up from here and, and make those yeah. steps and make those adjustments. And, Amen. you know, we're trying to pave the way so that it will be a more natural decision for, for a child uh, when, when they move into adolescence and adulthood to, to embrace the faith of Jesus Christ and to choose Him as their Lord and Savior. And uh, it's not easy being a parent, no. you know. Uh, <laughs> we just watched, uh, we have two grandkids. <laughs> We've got a two-year-old and, and a 10-month-old. And we had them for seven days at our house. And <laughs> every day I'm thinking, Savannah, you are a great mom. I don't know how you do it. Because they were off on vacation and we had Savannah and Patrick's two little kids. So, But all you're trying to do is mold, model, point them in that right direction. And, and the books do have a lot of practical tips yes. of how other families yeah. have done it and talks about a lot of our failures and, and a few of our successes as well. Yeah, and I, know, I love this book, Raising Your Kids to Love the Lord. Um, there's a letter mm. from your daughter in, in the back. Oh. And, you know, I think we all, my kids are 12 and 8, and there's days I think, you know, are they going to turn out loving you, Lord? Are they, are they going to? And I think you... you worry mm. about that sometimes um, but I love that letter from your daughter yeah. and it was that kind of that whole Proverbs 22 6 mm. that they do come back the way you train them not that she went off on a road that she shouldn't have but she came to the realization that mm. yeah she she's always walked with the Lord yes. and, and and yet uh, when you see them <clears throat> personalize the faith and take right. it for their own and even to have an appreciation that mom and dad pointed them mm -hmm. on that path. You know, it's, you're like, I'm ready to go home and be with you, God, because I don't Amen. think life can get any better than that. And mm -hmm. um, there is, there's a reason why the Bible says there's no greater joy, because mm -hmm. there isn't. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, there's a lot of joy, but when when the legacy continues and, and that, that chain link of, uh, of faith has been passed on and they've got a hold of it, Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a really good feeling, and we should be very appreciative. And for those of you who, whose kids aren't on that path right now, I'm telling you, Caroline and Bob both alluded to it earlier. There is power in prayer mm -hmm. and, and yes. to say, okay, Lord, mm -hmm. you do what, yeah. what right. no one else can do. We had a, and I don't know if you can see the baptistry in the shot back here, but two weeks ago, uh, this works both ways. There might be some kids who are watching or teens who are praying for their parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, Absolutely. we had a, a, a man in the baptistry who's in his 40s, mm -hmm. and he was baptizing his mom. Oh. And he said, uh, Hallelujah. He said, I just want you That's to know awesome. I have prayed 20 years for this moment. Hallelujah. Now, it's, it's great when the parents are praying for the kids. Oh, you're going to get me breaking cool, down. Oh, <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it cool when you see uh, someone who has embraced the faith yes. and they say, now I Hallelujah. want my parents to have what I have. Awesome. And I know there's people who are watching who are in that, that situation. So. I know there is. And brother, we only have a couple minutes to go. And, and I'd like for you to pray for those folks at home, if you don't mind. And just uh, parents that may be pa Parents, yeah, yeah. That, that, that are struggling. Parents and, and, and for children too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Well, Amen. let me do that right now. Thanks. Father, we come to you knowing that you are a good God and you are the giver mm -hmm. of every good and perfect gift. Yes. 
And we thank you that you epitomize and show us the example of what a father should be. And so, Lord, as a dad, I, I want to be like you. I, I want to be a truth teller. Mm -hmm. I want to be consistent. Uh, I want to show unconditional love. I want to be free with my time with my kids. And so, Lord, for every parent that is out there, will, will you help us to imitate yes. you? Yes. Uh, for the parent who says, Oh, I've made so many mistakes. Mm -hmm. it, it, it could never be rewritten. Lord, would you rewrite it? Absolutely. Um, yes. And for the parent who's out there and says, you know what, uh, Lord, I, I, I think that I, I have given a, a bad example in, in this particular area or that area. Will you help them to go to their child and to say, you know what, uh, mom or daddy has made some mistakes in this mm -hmm. area. Will you, will you pray for me and yes. help me as we'll be on this journey yes. together? And Lord, for the parents who are out there who uh, are just questioning how to raise their child so that they know you, will you give them wisdom and discernment? Mm -hmm. And when Satan uh, comes with his evil plan, Lord, will you, will you remind them that you have a greater plan for them? Yes. Uh, one to prosper them mm -hmm. and, and, and one to, to give them hope for the future. Hallelujah. And uh, Lord, we know that, that, uh, that Satan... Uh, knows our name, but he calls us by our sin. Mm -hmm. But will you remind mm -hmm. us that, that you know us by our sin, but you call us by our name? Mm -hmm. And there's a huge difference in that, Lord. And we thank you that, that we're not who we were, but we can become uh, a child of yours uh, by putting our trust in you. Yes. So yes. help us to be the parents who raise our kids to love you. And we ask all of this in, in the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. Dave, Amen. Real quick, if someone wants to get in touch with you and your ministry, uh, maybe they prayed that prayer and they mm -hmm. need some more information. How would they go back yeah, to Yeah, they them? can go to southeastchristian.org. They can call mm -hmm. our, our church at 253-8000. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and I just wanted to mention that these books uh, can be found on Amazon.com, right? Yes. Um, but they're wonderful. I think every family <laughs> should have these books for sure. Yes. Thank well, you. Dave, again, it's been an honor to have you on today's program. We love you, brother, and hopefully we'll have you on again here in the near future. I love you guys, and I appreciate everything that you all are doing. So Thanks. keep it up. Thanks. Thank Amen. you. Thank you, folks. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. God bless. Watching Good News Today. For program information and prayer request submission, find us on Facebook.